What's up guys, I hope that you are doing well. Now look, I just recorded this video, but I lost the audio. I mean, I wasn't recording the audio basically. So I have to do it back, but uh, it's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm going to put even more energy into it. Um, you know, I, I'm a little bit mad because I did an amazing video to be honest, but you know, that's absolutely fine. I'm going, this video is going to be very valuable for you guys. Um, I hope that it's going to help a lot of people. This is a part one of uh, four, four part or five part videos. And basically I'm going to show you my sales process from the beginning, from the call calling part to the closing and onboarding. So onboarding might be the five, um, you know, the, the part five of this series, but yeah, let's get right into it. This is a part one on how to get meetings for your social media marketing agency. So guys, here is the process that I'm using for my social media marketing agency. So I'm going to put this in full screen. And as you can see, the first step is the call. All right, so call, call calling businesses in order to get the first meeting with them. And I'm using call calling because I'm a huge fan of it. I just love call calling. I'm using it right now for since um, from like two years. I'm, I've been call calling for two years now. And I have a lot to say about call calling. I just love these methods. Now, I believe that emails work, um, you know, LinkedIn works, Facebook outreach works, everything works, right? When you focus on one method, it will work anyway. But um, I'm going to tell you in this video, because we are going in this video to focus on the call calling part and how to get meetings, I'm going to tell you exactly uh, the advantage of uh, call calling compared to other methods. So the first step is to call call businesses. The second step is to get the first meeting with them. Now this meeting is very important because in this meeting you will understand the needs of your clients. You will understand, uh, you know, his problems. You will make just an image of a, a custom solution for him, right? And it's a good way. This meeting is a good way to actually qualify your clients. Like, is it uh, a win-win relationship? Will it work eventually? Uh, do the client have content? Uh, maybe he needs shooting. Maybe he, you know, you just understand his needs. And uh, at the beginning, when I was selling fi uh, 500 per month solutions, I was closing directly after this meeting. So I didn't have a second meeting, the presentation meeting. I just closed my clients directly on this first meeting. So calls, first meeting and close, right? But I found that when you are selling uh, high ticket clients, like when, when I say this, it's, uh, let's say it's not even a high ticket, but when you are selling more than 1000 per month, if your pricing is more than 1000 per month, I found that two meetings works very great, but again, you are free to do one meeting if, you, if it works for you that's absolutely fine i'm just telling you guys about my process and how i'm getting clients and closing them uh, the presentation meeting is uh is a meeting when where you are going to present a solution so you're going to present your pricing you're going to uh, tell your clients why it's uh, logical to work uh, with you and you know, the first meeting is more, much more emotional. You are trying to sell the future, whereas the presentation meeting is much more logical. And so in this meeting, you really want to be as much logic uh, as possible. You want to tell them how much they are losing money right now by not working with you. And finally, you know, how much they, how much your services and the, when they will see and when they are understanding how much they are losing money by not working with you and how little your service price price point is, it's very easy to close them and to sell them. Now, the last step is closing. So closing, I'm going to tell you exactly all my strategies on how to close social media marketing clients and, you know, what to say, how to do, like how to handle objections also i'm going to tell you this everything about closing in the part four of this series 
And finally, in the part five, the last video, we are going to uh, talk about how to onboard social media marketing client because the onboarding part is also very important. You want a clear and defined process on how to get new clients, you know, how to, to do the payment, how to do the contracts, how to get access to their, uh, to their accounts on, you know, on Facebook, on Instagram. All those should be defined and it must be clear for your business. Now, uh, the first thing, guys, is the definition of a cold call. It's very important to have definitions. You should even check the definition of social media marketing because that's, that will help you very much. Now, just before to uh, continue, I just want to check that the sound is on, right? Because uh, I obviously don't want to record a third time. I think the second will be great. So the sound is good, the camera is good, everything is perfect. So cold calling is a solicitation of business from potential customers who are not anticipating such an interaction. So when you are cold calling businesses and cold calling even individuals, they are not expecting this interaction. They are focused on their day, on their activity. And that's why it's so important that when you are cold calling them, you first grab their attention. So you, you can say, for example, hey John, can I have 30 seconds of your time right now? Literally 30 seconds. What I'm using is, hey John, my name is Selim. I want to meet you very much. Do you have 30 seconds right now? And you know, you just need to grab their attention so they can uh, listen to you. All right, so that's the definition of a cold call. Um, Right now, guys, I want to tell you about the advantage of cold calling. First, guys, cold calling works. And when you understand the mechanics, first, of course, first you need to understand the mechanics, how it works, but cold calling works as any other method. But I want to tell you exactly the advantage of cold calling compared to other prospecting methods. And the first thing is cost. So when, especially when you are starting your business, it saves so much money on advertising. And cold calling is free. All you need is a phone, a list, and that's it. That's, uh, you, you can get business, you can make sales. Of course it's hard, but at least you are saving a lot of money. And a lot of people told me that, yeah, you are saving money, but you are losing a lot of time by cold calling a lot of people. But when you are starting your business, time is your, <laughs> your asset because, you know, you, you don't have, your pipeline is not full and you can't spend money on advertising. So I would rather call calling and meet my clients than uh, spending all my day uh, reaching out to them via emails and waiting something to happen. Call calling is an active process and that's why I love it so much. Now, as I said, it saves you time. And look, I had so many, so many meetings where uh, the clients told me that, uh, oh, like, you know, you, you, you came fast because I was actually talking with somebody via emails. And, you know, when, when people are sending out emails, uh, reaching out on Facebook, on LinkedIn, I'm already, uh, I'm already meeting my clients and understanding their needs. That's why it saves time. And because it saves time and you are faster, you are actually able to dominate the competition. And the reason why you can dominate your competition is because nobody, nobody is willing to call call. And the reason why is because call calling is, is hard, right? Nobody wants to do a phone call. It's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable for you. But you need to, to, you know, to take the responsibility for doing the calls for getting your business to the next level. I think that's the most important. But you have a huge advantage if you're cold calling because everybody is going for uh, Facebook, for LinkedIn, for emails. But look guys, uh, you will be able to dominate your competition because nobody is doing the call, is making the calls. And if you are watching these videos, guys, um, this is going to just put you on the, on the next level for call calling. Now, call calling, you will be also able to create more opportunities. As I said, it's an active process. So look, tomorrow, today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. I can decide how much meetings I want. 
I actually want two meetings tomorrow and I'm going to get them, right? Because all I have to do, I know my numbers, I track them and I know that if I'm making 50 calls, I'm getting at least two meetings. So that's the beauty of call calling. And it's two more opportunities in one day for my business. I could send 100 emails, uh, you know, spend a lot of time on the phone, but I'm meeting them directly. I'm uh, call calling and talking with my clients. I'm understanding their needs. I'm understanding my market also. Um, second, like again, establish new relations. So you will create more opportunities. You will meet new people and you will establish new relations. It means that even if you are meeting somebody that is not interested in your service, you can ask for referrals and you will just build so many new relations. So that's why I love cold calling again. Uh, another advantage is that you will get out of obscurity. Now, when you are starting, obviously nobody knows you. And when you are cold calling, meeting people, you are getting out of obscurity and obscurity is the, you know, the only thing that is cleaning businesses because nobody knows them. And lastly, uh, cold calling empowers you. When I was starting, you know, cold calling gave me so much confidence. When I was starting, I wasn't the same person. I didn't know how to talk to people on the phone. I didn't know, you know, how to sell and cold calling learned me everything about selling. And it gives you so much confidence. And I'm going to tell you how you can get to that level. Now, advices, if you are never done cold calling, this is the most powerful advice, it's to get frequent. Now, when I was starting, I was making 300 calls per day and I've got like three meetings from 300 calls, which is very, very low. But I didn't know how to call call. I didn't know how to get meetings. I didn't understand the mechanics. I didn't have the right strategies to call call and the right script. But as more and more you will get frequent, more you will adjust your script more you will find new strategies, more, you know, you're just getting better and better uh, the more calls you are doing. And you need to change. You know, when I was starting call calling, I didn't have the level of confidence I have right now. I'm right now, I'm able to get as many meetings as I want. So I'm getting meetings on demand. But trust me, guys, when I was starting, it was just terrible because I was scared. I didn't know what I was doing and it was very hard to get meetings. But the, the biggest obstacles, the, the most difficulty you will have is, to, is the challenge with yourself because the person, when you are starting call calling, the person you are right now will not be able to get a lot of meetings. And that's why you need to change, you, you need to evolve basically in order to get those meetings. Now, uh, this is, I think, one of the most um, the most powerful advice that I have to give you in this video is that you need to understand science. And it's funny, but look, um, it's a three percent rule. So when you have one hundred, when you have one hundred leads, three of them are ready to buy. And what do you want is to focus on those people. Actually, you have a little bit more of three percent that are. Um, are not ready to buy yet, but can be convinced. And you want to focus just on those people. And you know, when you are cold calling, the, your goal is to find those people. You, ne you need to qualify your clients in order to find those that are ready to buy right now. That's why with cold calling, you can scale your business very, very fast and then invest in advertising to even scale much faster. All right. so. Finally, here are some tips for cold calling. Uh, yeah, just, you know, just to summarize, just understand science and the 3% rule. It will help you very much. You need to track your numbers. You need to know your numbers and you need to believe in this rule. It's very powerful, guys. Three people out of 100 are ready to buy and you want to focus on those people. Now, here are some tips for cold calling. The first one is to be honest and transparent. You need to always say the reason why you are calling. You know, you, you need to be straightforward and to tell them, look, John, the reason why I'm calling you is because I want to meet you very much. And then once you grab their attention, you want to be first interesting. So you need to, you, you, you need to present your service in 
30 seconds, you need to grab their attention even more so that they are curious to know more, right? And then once you, you've been interesting, you want to be interested in their service. You want to ask them uh, questions in order to qualify them also. So first you are interesting, then you want to be interested in them. Um, another tips is that you need to believe you can get the meeting, right? Uh, I think it's very important because if you are not believing you can get meetings, you will not get any. And so it's very important to believe you can do it, right? Uh, as I said, so this is the kind of questions you want to ask when you are interested in this interested uh, phase, in this interested part. So how are you currently managing social medias? You're assuming they are doing it right now. And most people will tell you, will laugh that they are just not doing it. And that's great because it's painful for them. And that's, that's the reason even, you know, it's a reason why they are uh, going to take this meeting with you. Uh, did you do something similar before? How it went? So again, you want to qualify your prospect. You don't want to meet everybody because you want to protect your time and you want also to, you know, to not lose their time. So yeah, just qualify. And again, you will adjust uh, the, m the more you are call calling and meeting people, the more you will find a great opportunity. Uh, again, be structured, have a script. Now a script, a lot of people don't agree with it, but I think you always should have a script with you because the script is giving uh, stability, especially when you are beginning, you want to know exactly what you are doing, where, where you are going, in which directions, and the script provides stability. So it's very, very important to have a script with you that you will adjust and that will give you much more meeting. You will convert much, much more people. Um, always get back to the meeting. Now, the only goal of a call call, again, if you watched my videos before, you know that I say this a lot, but the only goal of a call calling is to get a meeting. So even when you are getting objections, you want to always get back to the meeting. If people tell you, look, it's looking interesting, send me an email, you will be like, okay, always agree. So I understand you want me to send an email. I just did it right now. It's sent, it's in your box, in your address mail. Um, but look, I only do my presentation and my audit in person. That's why I want to meet you very much so it can save saves you time. When will be the best time to meet you? Maybe Thursday or Friday, you know, just give them a choice, block them in a choice and always get back to the meeting because that's what you want. You, you want to close the meeting. And finally, be enthusiastic. So, you know, sometimes you will do 30 calls and you will not get a meeting because, you know, it's just the next call that is uh, going to get you the first meeting, right? And so when you are call calling, you always want to be enthusiastic no matter how much meeting you got and how much, you know, how much calls you did. You always want to be enthusiastic and, you know, just to... Um, doesn't matter if it's the first call or the 100th. You, you just always need to be enthusiastic because that's really what is going to get you uh, meetings. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope it has been valuable for you. Uh, again, this is the first part of uh, my process. So in the, the second part, we're going to see what to say in the first meeting. We're going to see also the presentation part. So how to present um, your solution, how to be logical, and finally, how to close and onboard clients. So uh, I hope that you liked it. There is a link in bio if you want me to help you call call businesses. If you need me to mentor you, we are doing uh, custom scripts for your business together. We are doing uh, live call calling sessions. So it's a free case study on what I have to offer you and how I can help you. So if you're interested by it in me mentoring you in uh, the call calling aspect in the call calling session, just click the link in below, watch the free case study and then book an appointment with me and we are going to talk about it together. So guys, that's it for this video. Again, if you have any questions, DM me on Instagram or in the comment, I answer all DMs so we can actually have a conversation together and I can, you know, help you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so there, that's about it. 
uh, I will see you guys in another video.